Well, Tano is 814 and right now more and more major state roadways are being closed across Louisiana due to the poor conditions because of this weather system that's moving through Louisiana. So joining us right now on the phone, Troop B PIO with State Police Trooper Monroe Dillon. Thank you so much for joining us. You know, you guys have had a really busy morning, specifically in the Baton Rouge area. We're waiting for that same kind of system to make its way really here to us. So uh, talk about your response this morning. How many crashes that you're seeing and your message to drivers? Well, this morning, uh, in the early morning hours on the Whiskey Bay Bridge, uh, specifically between Baton Rouge and Lafayette, there was about a up to 14 to 17 vehicle uh, crash. A pileup was shut down the roads, and those roads were shut down because of ice. Um, those vehicles lost control. There was actually three 18-wheelers who jackknifed. And, uh, you know, thank God that there were no injuries reported, but there was significant damage uh, during that crash. It just kind of goes to show just how quickly that these roadways, uh, you know, can deteriorate in terms of their conditions. And uh, we just got that alert that I-10 and I-12 uh, in Baton Rouge now closed. So talk about what you guys are doing to prepare here for the New Orleans area, because you guys cover Troop B, which is the New Orleans metro area. What are you doing right now to prepare our roadways to make sure that our drivers stay safe? We are partnering with uh, DOTD. We have uh, loads and loads and pounds of uh, sand that are going to be going out, I'm sorry, sand and salt to line the roads uh, just in case of icing. We do expect to see some icing in this area. And, um, you know, that is very dangerous in this area because that is a condition that we have not seen in this area in a very long time. So one of the things that one of the things that we see with that is is a lot of people underestimate uh, those road conditions and they think they can drive. They think it's safe. But we want everyone to know right now, if you do not have to be on the road, we ask that you please do not be on the road. I remember several years ago when we basically had a really shut down southeast Louisiana because of the icy conditions there on the roadways. Any roadways of note that you guys are more concerned about than others? Well, we're specifically concerned with the uh, elevated portions of the roadway. So in our area, you know, we have the, uh, the spillway going uh, from Kenner to Laplace. We have, of course, the causeway. We have a US 90B on the West Bank, the Crescent City Connection, along with the Pontchartrain Expressway. So any uh, elevated roadway uh, is more susceptible to icing, and it'll happen quickly, uh, a little bit more quickly than the road surfaces. And I know so that we're... We do ask Yes. And Trooper Dylan, I know that, you know, we're on the air right now just reinforcing that message, but you're really concerned about tomorrow as well, Mardi Gras. Yes, because, uh, you know, people will have that, that natural instinct to say, hey, it's, it's, uh, it's Mardi Gras day. I want to get out. I want to do something. I want to ride around. But what we're here telling you today, uh, we need you to pay attention to the meteorologists, pay attention to the uh, traffic alerts. Uh, 511LA.org. The roads will not be safe to travel tomorrow. All right. Trooper Monroe Dillon with State Police Troop B. Thank you so much for joining us uh, live this morning to kind of reinforce that message for us. And you mentioned paying attention to our meteorologists. Well, we're going to have a look at the forecast and what Quilla Murphy has to say about.